Okay, hello guys. Um, we meet again in our new video. So, now I'm going to show you how to solve a problem using knife cost elimination method. Okay, so this knife cost elimination is used to solve um, linear equations, okay, as I mentioned in my PowerPoint notes. So, let's say you have here 10x1 plus 2x2 minus x3 equals 27. So, I will call this as equation 1. And the second one is negative 3x1 minus 6x2 plus 2x3 equals to negative 61.5. And I'll call this equation 2. And the third one is x1 plus x2 plus 5x3 equals to negative 21.5. So this is third equation. Right? Okay, so in this problem, you are asked to solve what are the values for x1, x2, and x3 using knife cost elimination. Okay, so as you can recall back in my notes, the first step in this knife cost elimination is what we call as forward elimination. Okay, so in this forward elimination, your objective is to eliminate the element of this one, the first element in the second row. The first element in the third row and the second element in the third row. So this, you want it to be zero, zero and zero. So you will only have a diagonal, sort of like diagonal pattern here. Okay, so in order for you to eliminate this element, according to knife cost elimination, you need to use the first row in order to eliminate this. So this will be your basis uh, sort of like basis row so when you you have to actually transform the first element of the of the first row to become negative 3x1 so that you can then take the second row to minus the new first row so listen carefully guys First thing you have to do is multiply row 1, this row, okay, with a certain factor. So this certain factor is negative 3 over 10. Now, how did I get negative 3 over 10? Is my objective, I want to transform this to become negative 3. How do I do that? I have to multiply 10x1 times negative 3 over 10 so i then i will get negative 3x1 so here let me just show you 10x1 times negative 3 over 10 so you will get negative 3x1 but i cannot just multiply this alone i have to multiply the whole row with negative 3 over 10 having do having doing that so I will get my um, new row as negative 3x1, negative 6 over 10x2 plus 3 over 10x3 equals to negative 81.10. So I will call this my temporary row 1. So this is just for temporary. It will not replace your first row all right so this is the new row which i will use in order to eliminate this how do i do that okay look carefully the next step is subtract row here the temporary row one with row two now the key word here is with what do you understand about with is it one minus two or 2 minus 1. Which one? 
So these are number of rows. Is it row 1 minus row 2 or row 2 minus row 1? Okay. So it means row 2 minus row 1. So in this case, your second row is negative 3x1, negative 6x2 plus 2x3 equals to negative 61.5. So you minus... Okay, you minus um, the temporary row, negative 3x1, negative 6 over 10x2, plus 3 over 10x3 equals to negative 81.10. So here, you minus this together, this cancel out. Okay, this cancel out. So you will be left with this so this is your new row two row number two okay let me just get another piece of paper and let's look at now that we have eliminated this element so the next thing to do is eliminate this element. So you do it like this way, this way down, and then this way down. Eliminate this, eliminate this, and then eliminate this. So you will have only this one, this one, and this one. But of course, you will have a new equation for row two and a new equation for the third row. All right, so let's look at the... Third equation, how to eliminate the that first and the second element. So first thing to do is multiply row 1. You are still using the first row in order for you to eliminate this element with 1 over 10. Why 1 over 10? Because you need to transform this into x1. So how do you transform this? To become x1 is you divide this by 10 again if you divide this by 10 you have to divide everything by 10 that's why you have to multiply row 1 with 1 over 10 so you will get x1 plus 2 over 10 x2 minus 1 over 10 x3 equals 27 over 10 okay so this will be your temporary row 1 for this method here no sorry for this step here okay next is subtract this temporary row one with row three so it means row three minus one okay so in this case Where is your row 3? Here. x1 plus x2 plus 5x3 equals to negative 21.5 minus this one. x1 plus 2 over 10x2 minus 1 over 10x3 equals 27 over 10. Okay? So, just mind, just do your calculation. This one will become 0x1. And here, 0.8x2 plus 5.1x3 equals to negative 24.2. So, this will be your new third row. Okay, so let's list out all the equations just now. So, the first row will remain the same because you you are not doing anything to it. Um, X3 equals 27. This will remain the same. And the second row is the new row that you have just calculated just now, which is this one. All right. Negative 1.4x. And then the third row will be the one that you have just calculated just now. This one. Oh, 
All right. So you are now you are now getting sorry you are now getting these three equations here, but still you haven't completed your task in which you need to eliminate this. This you should transform it or you should change it into zero. If you actually use the first row to eliminate this, you will be getting x1 again in the equation. But if you use the second row to eliminate this element, you definitely can eliminate x2 but without the appearance of x1. So the best choice and the correct choice is to use the second equation to eliminate this element from the third row. Let me get another piece of paper. Okay, next is remove x2 from row 3 by multiplying row 2 with negative 5.4 and subtracting the result from row 3. So I hope you can understand what I have uh, written here. Remove x2 from row 3 by multiplying row 2 with this factor in order for it to become 0.8x2 and subtracting the result from row 3. Okay, so I'm not going to show you how to do this, this stage, but then you will get your answer to be 0x2 plus 5.35185x3 equals to negative 32.111111. So I want, I want you to do the same as what I have shown you just now, how to come up with this as your new third row. Okay, next, we just this out all the equations again. So you have the first equation 10x1 plus 2x2 minus x3 equals to 27. And then you have negative 5.4x2 plus 1.3x3 equals to negative 53.4. And you have uh, 5.3518x3 equals to negative 32.1111. Okay, so as you can see that in my calculation here, I don't use any certain number of decimal places, but uh, this is just, you know, to show you how you can work using this method. But in tests or in your exam, you need to stick to the number of decimal places stated by the question. All right. So now it is time for back substitution. Why the name back substitution is you're working from backward, from x, you're solving x3 first, then you're solving x2, and finally you're solving x1 from backward, back going up and going up. So how to solve this is very simple. So here, you just can solve for x3 equals to negative 32.1111 divided by 5.3518, and you will get your x3 as sort of like negative 6 or maybe negative 5.9 blah 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 something okay and then now that you've got your x3 substitute this into the second equation substitute x3 into the second equation to solve for x2 so you will get x2 as 8 now that you've got your x2 you can substitute this and this with your values in the first equation to solve for x1. So x1, you should be getting 0 0.5. There you go. You have solved it using a knife cost elimination. Okay, so using two major steps, which is 
forward elimination and back substitution. Thank you for watching. So I will see you guys soon.